Washington, former Gov. Phil Bredesen, the last Democrat to win statewide office in Tennessee, announced on Tuesday that he would run for the seat being vacated by Senator Bob Corker, handing his party a conceivable, if extremely narrow, path back to a Senate majority in 2018. M. R. Bredesen, a wealthy business executive and two-term governor who swept every county in the state in his 2006 re-election bid, was aggressively courted by Senate Democrats, who have been eyeing any potential openings in a year that features a forbidding map for the party. Democrats are defending 25 Senate seats next year, 10 of them in states that President Trump won. But if M. R. Bredesen can mount a strong campaign, Tennessee would join Nevada and Arizona as states where Republican-held Senate seats could be in jeopardy. Republicans currently have a two-seat majority. A win by Doug Jones, a Democrat, in the Alabama special election on Tuesday would provide a wider path to the majority. M. R. Bredesen, 74, declared his candidacy with a web video that illustrated why he could prove a formidable candidate but also why he faces a bruising campaign that could prove the most expensive in state history. I'm running for the Senate because I have the right kind of experience and the actual track record that it will take to start working across party lines to fix the mess in Washington and bring common sense back to our government, he said, clad in a hunting vest and sitting on a porch, a verdant expanse of lawn behind him. M. R. Bredesen discussed his business record and trumpeted his tenure as mayor of Nashville, Tennessee's booming capital before recalling that he had not raised the sales tax as governor or sought to create an income tax, long a political third rail in the state. Yet in an indication of how precarious it can be to run statewide as a Democrat in the South, he also made no mention of his party and did not refer to President Trump by name. His only allusion to the Affordable Care Act was to say that it needs fixing. Tennessee Democrats faced near extinction under President Barack Obama, losing House seats they had controlled for generations and swapping near majorities in both chambers of the state legislature for the barest of minorities. Should M. R. Bredesen become the party's standard bearer, however, he will test whether the state has undergone an enduring realignment or whether a well-financed and well-known Democrat can win when there is a more favorable climate and a Republican president. It is often easier for Southern Democrats to prevail when they cannot be linked to a liberal bogeyman in the White House. The race will also determine if Tennessee's tradition of electing political moderates, whether they be Democrats or Republicans, was a reflection of a less polarized time or still holds as a lasting feature of a varied state that spans two time zones and absorbs Appalachia, the transient rich New South and more agrarian Old South. Even as it has shifted right in the same fashion of its southern neighbors, Tennessee has continued to elect Republican pragmatists such as M.R. Corker, Senator Lamar Alexander and Gov.